is everywhere. It's not my opinion. And knowing how much trouble we're in, and then maybe out of thousands of hours of broadcast every few months, maybe an hour of it I blow up. Uh, I mean, who could sit up here filibustering on these issues and not blow up when you realize how frustrating it is you want to jump up and down in front of people. That's a normal human response. And say, get up. It'd be like if you were in a lifeboat. I've used this analogy before. And there's a hole in the bottom of it, and you're in the North Atlantic, five miles offshore. Your ship sunk. You're in a leaking lifeboat. There's 30 people on this big lifeboat, and you're oaring towards it, and there's a leak in it. And you tell people, hey, use our cups, use our whatever, bales, help me bail. And people don't even want to row the boat. They're complaining about their back hurting. Uh, they want to be unionized or they want you to pay them or they don't want you to tell them what to do. And it's like, you know what? Fine. Everybody's arguing while the boat's sinking into frozen water that will kill us in, within a few minutes of being in it. It's called tyranny. The boat is sinking. The water, the waves are coming over it. More water's coming in. I'm bailing as fast as I can here, as hard as I can. And people are like, man, you're sweating. You're upset. You're panicking. And I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to get the water out of the boat. And it's not because I'm a hero. It's not because I'm some great guy, folks. <laughs> I don't want to live in a tyranny. I don't want to see everybody have their 401ks and IRAs taken. As the globalists are openly announcing they're going to do, the bail ends. I don't want to see a global meltdown. I don't want to see war with Russia and China. Uh, I don't want to see... Uh, total police state. I, I want prosperity. I, I want to live in a free country. I want my children to have a future. But there is a decadent madness upon the elite in the West. And anybody with money, for that matter, to a certain extent that I run into. But also the working class have gotten kind of disconnected from reality. Either people are waking up more or they're becoming more delusional. The wheat from the chaff is being separated. The goats from the sheep. And... You see this stuff going on, and it's so un-American, it's so anti-freedom. You want to yell and scream at people and get them out of their malaise, out of their comfort zone. So I've got all this news here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 20-something stacks. I can't even count them all. But, but, but this is really the big news, and I'm glad Watson wrote about this a few days ago. It's up on DrudgeReport.com right now up at the top of the site, uh, not, not Watson's article, but the Wall Street Journal, because, you know, people read our stuff, and it's like, oh, like, the government's not going to come in and tell newsrooms what to write and what to say and what to do. You know, that's InfoWars saying that. I'm glad Drudge linked to the Wall Street Journal and to Fox News for folks that think we're making this stuff up. You need to go there, and you need to go actually read the media, period. I don't care what you call yourself, old line, dinosaur, left, right, libertarian, Whatever you call yourself, independent. You should go read this FCC wage in the newsrooms. Why is the agency studying perceived station bias and asking about coverage choices? They're going to send agents into all media organizations that are picked up anywhere by a broadcast. They're claiming jurisdiction of this office, even though we don't broadcast from here. That is, nothing's being broadcast, UHF, VHF, FM, AM, shortwave out of this office. We send it out on feeds, digital feeds to satellites and things that then get picked up and are retransmitted terrestrially. But they're now claiming this jurisdictional power grab under Obama. So since the days of Bruce Fine heading up the uh, FCC as their lawyer under Reagan, getting rid of fairness doctrine to bring back free speech and, and a new golden age of freedom of speech, vanguarding into the internet, We've had a march towards more freedom of speech. Now under our Lord and Savior, in the words of uh, Jamie Foxx, Obama, Barack Obama, our Lord and Savior. I'm not being blasphemous. I'm repeating Jamie Foxx here. I'm not being racist. He is our Lord and Savior, according to Jamie Foxx. And if you don't believe that, you're racist. Uh, now they're going to be trying to send bureaucrats out. And they're going to try to send them here to do their little inspections. So just, just think about that in America, folks. Uh, here's uh, Fox News. Why the FCC should keep its nose out of newsrooms. Yes, that's that's what we should be hearing. Keep your stinking, ugly, disgusting, pus-covered, devil snouts, wolf snouts out of our newsrooms. That's what Ted Cruz is saying about the harassment of secret 
Republican and Libertarian groups in Hollywood. The group rightly refused a request from the IRS to reveal the names of its members, says Republican Senator from Texas. FOA should respond, friends of Abe, to the IRS as it would to any McCarthyite request for information. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. For thousands of years, silver has been used as both a medicine and a preservative. But not all silver is equal. Supernatural silver is an amazing new technology that has been clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. Supernatural silver resonates at the same frequency as germicidal light used in labs to kill bacteria and viruses. Supernatural silver is a broad-spectrum microbial that creates no resistance and does not harm beneficial bacteria, making it ideal for daily use. It can be used internally as well as topically and is highly effective against bacteria, viruses, molds, and yeast. Supernatural Silver Liquid and Gel are perfect for on-the-go or emergency preparedness and can provide protection at home, school, or work. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com and remember the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. That's SupernaturalSilver.com. SupernaturalSilver.com. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance. It's time to kick some ash because cigarettes have met their match. Smokers are switching to Vapriot e-liquid by La Cig because when you kick ash, you kick tar and smelly smoke too. La Cig smokes the competition with real people customer service, a seven-day satisfaction guarantee, and same-day fast free shipping. Become a vapor today at LaCig.com, spelled L-E-C-I-G.com. La Cig e-cigarettes, kick some ash. Did you know that organic sulfur can cleanse and defend your body against the poisons we're exposed to each day? Organic sulfur crystals from sulfurdefense.com help by forcing oxygen and nutrition into your cells while eliminating heavy metals, contaminants, and damaging radiation. Defend yourself and family from toxic assault with one of the most critical and essential minerals available today. Order online at sulfurdefense.com. That's sulfurdefense.com. Or call 800-593-6273. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show Because there's a war on for your mind Folks, we're back live. Paul Watson is going to be joining us from the UK studios of InfoWars in his in-depth uh, research on what is behind the situation in Ukraine. And I want to be totally clear, I'm not choosing sides between the Catholics 
and the Orthodox and the different groups that balkanize the country or the pro-Russian side, the pro-EU side. Bottom line, though, hands down, we can prove that George Soros, the National Endowment for Democracy, the State Department, Hillary Clinton, and the usual suspects like Hitler uh, have been involved at every level and have started it and told the Ukrainians, be nice, don't resist the violent protesters, and the West won't criticize you. And now the arms have been served out to the operatives, and they're shooting people in mass. So the Ukrainians are getting ready to crush them with the military. And if it gets bad enough, the Russian military will come in. And it is a serious situation. Uh, the truce has been broken. Uh, the city is burning in many areas of Kiev, their capital. We're going to be breaking that down. Uh, with Paul Watson in the next segment. It is a big, big deal. And the reason it looks so much like Syria, as Lou Rockwell writes today, is because it's another proxy war. And it's a very dangerous situation. Here's some of the headlines on that subject. Violence in Ukraine creates a deepening clash between East and West. That's in the New York Times. As deaths rise in Kiev, so do fears Ukraine will use troops. And, and I've got quotes by Obama here about you should not use force on the peaceful demonstrators. They're not peaceful. And again, people are like, Alex, well, don't you like people beating cops and fighting the government? No, I don't ever like police beating innocent, peaceful protesters. And I call them thugs, scum, cowards, wherever they do it, whether it's in China or the U.S., Ukraine or Moscow. But I don't like the police order to stand down while they're shot. See, I like justice, folks, and I can look at something and watch a bunch of western back stooges with guns shooting police that don't even shoot back. And I know a provocation for nationwide civil war and carnage and the destruction of another sovereign country so it can be sucked up the New World Order vacuum cleaner. See, I don't attack people until they attack me. See, I follow common law, the Bible. I don't even need to read the Bible, folks. Common sense is written on my heart. It's called common sense, ladies and gentlemen, that you don't attack somebody first, that you don't go out and stir up trouble first, that you try to take the high road first. And I'm quite frankly surprised those police haven't mowed down thousands of people. And I'm not saying that's a good thing. Also, if you had like a Chinese regime, like in the late 1980s with Tiananmen Square, I'll just get into this now. And they'd been uh, persecuting and killing and shooting people for years and oppressing. And then the public started shooting back to overthrow them. I would back that. But the Ukrainian government, compared to many of the past governments they've had, has been moderate. And they've been trying to work out a deal with the EU and Russia to just have joint support and build up their country. And, and the globalists don't want that. They want to bring them down. So I've actually studied the situation, and it's just not warranted to go shoot the first cop you see on the street. That's not some cop-worshipping uh, event, as I saw some people criticizing yesterday's show on Infowars.com in the comments, and I saw on YouTube. You know, I just am not for starting big, bloody French Revolution civil wars where you go around murdering and killing when your main general funding you is George Soros. You know, I think that's what it is. George Soros is one of their main ringwraith, Nazgul leaders funding this on record. Paul Watson's coming up to break it all down. And, and that's why I'm against it. The very same UN globalists that are fi financing open borders and taking my guns and government-run health care, and every other nightmare, the people that give us bad things, the people that give us bad fruit, the people that lie to us and cheat us and do all, and fund al-Qaeda and, and blow up churches in Syria and all over the Middle East, the same ones arming al-Qaeda so they can retake parts of Western Iraq right now, the same ones sowing discord and so they can bring in world government on the ashes of national sovereignty. They're the ones telling me what great freedom fighters these Ukrainians are. I'm sure those Ukrainians have got a beef. I'm sure some cop roughed them up once or they didn't like the taxes or something that went on. 
The point is, is that they're being used to bring their country completely down. And I've weighed it all, and it's evil. What's happening in Ukraine is being run by the New World Order. We're on the march. The 